guys really figure that out? Yeah, good job. Look at you, like, that's so easy. <laughs> We're sending information to each other, saying text, whatever. The person in the middle is the hacker. They're trying to take our information, all right? Okay. Eighth graders at Tremont Montessori in Cleveland simulate a man in the middle attack. <laughs> you ain't gonna let me see. Trying to get information past a hacker. All right, round one over. <laughs> I want to know like how hackers are getting our information, how we can prevent it from happening. <laughs> A way to prevent hacking comes in part two of the lesson. The hacker has to write down a long list of random numbers instead of words and then decipher them later. 15. Hey, you got some. Not bad. Not bad. One. <laughs> Uh, this was hard. You know, figure out what's so it's a lot harder to write down a bunch of numbers and you know figure out what's after, right? You want words to memorize to go off of, right? Makes sense. The Great Lakes Science Center teaches today's lesson without computers. It is part of its Creating Connections Eight program. We figured that not every school is going to be built equal. Not every school has a rack of laptops or a rack of iPads. So we, we start with data and we start using analog activities. You have a much better chance of understanding without getting tripped up with syntax, without having to understand computer code. This is just an excellent way to get the concepts into these kids' minds. The program aims to develop student confidence in emerging technologies. Think of a word that has A in it that it's not R and N at this. Can? Okay, there you go. Light bulbs go off as the eighth graders engage in other cybersecurity activities, such as using a Caesar cipher, one of the earliest examples of encryption, and creating a binary coding bracelet with bead combinations. My favorite part was making the wristbands where we had to like decode it with our letters and our initials of our name. So I had to use SH. Did you guys really figure that out? Yeah. Today's yeah. activities lay the foundation for a future lesson through code.org, one of many options for students in Ohio. The code.org lesson is hard and it just fits in so well. So now they have this background in encryption and they understand it. And now we're going to go to the code.org lesson and they're going to be like, wow, this is, this is how it really works. Eighth graders are at a critical point in their lives. Um, they're starting to mature very fast. And if they can gain an interest in something like computer science, be it using hands-on um, activities, they're more apt to pay attention as they go into ninth grade. Last year was my first year. When I originally got here, the kids, especially the middle school kids, they were like, we are not doing this. I have no interest in this. I, I'm, you can't make me learn it. It took them a full semester to really start warming up to, oh wait, this is sort of interesting. Oh, I do sort of want this. To the point where this year, instead they like stop me, it's Monday, and they're like, well, what are we doing Thursday? They want to learn more. Number seven. Hi. Hi. Today their work here, it really proves how much their views are changing. So these 10 letters, if you unscramble them, they make a word. They see that it is important to their future. I want to be an engineer in computer science, so it can really help me out with better schools and stuff like that. Good